Oh, can I turn? Okay. Oops. Is it enough? That's enough. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. 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 youngsters and this might be a little bit different from what you have seen on the internet yes. on TV about yeah. Vietnam yeah. so I just want to highlight that this is what actually what the four of us do in Vietnam yeah. so what do we do first we'll enjoy street food in Hanoi so the street looks like this and um, it's not a street vendors but the special of it is that you sit on the chair with your friend and then the food is placed in another chair and it's kind of like this and then the food's in the middle and then you just enjoy together mm. and what the street like this so this is actual photos of us enjoying the street food in hanoi and one thing that um, not a lot of people mentioned when they talk about tourism in uh, vietnam but this is actually that lot is the most famous uh, uh, destinations for youngsters in Vietnam. Yeah. It's only uh, six hours of drive away from uh, Ho Chi Minh City. So we'll get on the night bus, we'll go to sleep, and then we wake up in that. Lab. So this is what the youngsters do in Vietnam. We'll go to coffee, more coffee, watch the sunset, and then more coffee. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a little bit uh, stereotypical. Uh, we see the flooring market. Uh, but you will see this a lot on the social media or on the internet. But this is actually in Vietnam for everyone, the local, that would eat breakfast on the floating market. So this is a photo of like a lady selling a type of noodles and we'll eat on the boat and then we'll come back and just enjoy the rest of our day. So this is what, what we do. And uh, enough me talking because I have uh, had you through this, but hopefully someone will sponsor us so that we can enjoy being locals in Vietnam. But uh, you see a big part of Vietnam and a big part of our culture is food and drink. So that's why we have brought a lot of food here today so that you guys can enjoy and try yeah. yeah. But the thing is, this is not the food that you typically see. Uh, this is not fall. Obviously, we could not bring fall. 
But yeah. this is something, as Vietnamese, we do eat on a daily basis. So for example, like granola, we don't actually talk about granola when we think about America or think about other European countries, but it's actually a part of the lifestyles that many people embrace, and we want to do that, and we want you to know that for locals in Vietnam, this is what we eat. Yay! Okay. The thing is, the most favorite part today is eating. Yeah. So uh, for me, I bring uh, two uh, snacks to you all. Actually, this one because I'm uh, I'm going to meet my friend here in America, and she left Vietnam two years ago. Thank you. And she misses this so much, so I bring to her, and then I bring to you all as well. Yay. So this is yeah, this is coconut um, snack. It's really really good. Let's try it. And this one is a uh, green bean snack as well. So, yay, super good. Uh, actually, uh, I already tell you guys about ingredients, so nothing more to say except you're gonna enjoy it and feel it by yourself. Okay? Yay! And then, uh, Anne will also share with you about the food, and you also share with you about the food. And I think when you finish all of the food we bring here, you don't need to have lunch anymore. <laughs> So, one of the special in Vietnam is that we have tri food. So, uh, this is the two types of tri food. The one is that they try it really dry, so that uh, it's almost like uh, like chips that you eat. But this one is pame uh, pamelo. So, it's actually they try it into only a certain degree that it's only a little bit dry, but you can still taste a lot of uh, pamelo scents in it. And we also have candy here. Yes. Yes. What is that? Guys, so in the meantime, when you fry the food, we also have others. So let uh, Anne introduce more and then give you more. Yeah, so this is the candies. Uh, this is what I snack on a daily basis, <laughs> even though it contains a lot of sugar, but yeah. Uh, so this is mulberry and strawberry candies, and this is like fruit candies in general. So we'll try that we have, uh, we'll squeeze the juice out and use both the juice and the residues to make the candies. Mm -hmm. What is the name, and I want to Google it. The uh, try Canelo. Okay, so uh, have you got all all the food that uh, were introduced by by Anne and uh, almost? almost? Yes. In the meantime, I also have the other thing as well. Have you ever heard about Alvelibes? Yeah. It's a very famous candy, yeah, but yeah. there is one special taste in Vietnam, which is this mango and chili sauce. Huh? Ah. Yeah. 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 Crazy, right? Yeah. It's, it's not yeah. sweet. This candy is very special. It's not sweet. It's sour. It's salty and it's spicy. Okay, so uh, let's. So in Vietnam, we mostly eat fruits with this kind of like uh, salt. Okay, special one. Next one is the cashew. We, Vietnam, is the number one country in the world in terms of exporting cashew all over our world. So it is a famous thing you must try. It's, it's something like hazelnut or walnut, but I think it's better for your brain even than the mm. other two. So, <laughs> and the last thing I would like to introduce to you is the uh, the chicken chicken butt. It's like the chicken yarn, the dried chicken. Ooh. This is internationally loved by normally Miss Vietnam yeah. all around the world to join the Miss Universe competition. 
they will bring this. And then all around the world, every other mist, they really like this. So this is the kind of mintage and the most important thing yeah. for today. This is kind of snack that the um, young Vietnamese people always have at home. Mm. Yes. So mm. I always have this at home. Only young? Yeah, yeah and, and, and those, <laughs> no, you speak like it? And it's my mom, but I like it a lot. Okay. Do you open up any store? Right? Huh? You have everything at home? Yeah, my home is a grocery. Oh. So, uh, how do you think about all the Vietnamese food? This is the peanut candy, the candy made of peanut. I didn't intend to introduce this because uh, it's quite normal, but this is actually very easy to, to have like on a daily basis. This is a snack. So you have peanut, which uh, you have protein, and also you have carbohydrate from sugar as well. So uh, this is like a power bar for all of you. You own okay. one of these brands? Huh? You, you own, own one of these brands? Yeah, it's Vietnamese. I, I, own, I own all of them. You own oh. all of them? <laughs> so, all the traditional food. Oh my god. I get it. Okay. My second. By the way, by the way, the floating market, I also have it in my region. Oh. Yeah. Do you have the city of Vietnam? We also have We really like it. Do you eat with that all being said, the food is still spreading to all of you. Yeah. And with that being said, it is not what you can search online. Yes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Only us, only we can provide to you. We right. can use another special food in Vietnam. So, so the last thing, the last but not least, I would say, welcome, welcome to, to Vietnam. Vietnam. Yeah. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. And do you want to introduce a bit about this candy? Uh, this is the mulberry and the strawberry candies. Subscribe ke bern.id dan jangan lupa untuk mengunduh Pranala app. Untuk video terbaru, kamu bisa klik video di kanan atas. Dan untuk video rekomendasi, bisa klik video di kanan bawah. Terima kasih.